You know what they say out there, man. You, the more you know, the more you grow. The thing about it is that I was tired of fucking guessing, spinning my wheels towards fitness. You know, a lot of people are out there are spinning their wheels. And the thing about it is that you're 25, 30, 45 years old. If you haven't got it, you ain't gonna get it. That's the thing that you have to instill in your head. So you have to pay somebody to get it. And if you don't wanna pay somebody to get it, then you're pretty much fucking screwed because you're gonna go out there, give it your all, and be committed to something that if you don't know what you're doing, you ain't gonna see the results. And the first thing that's gonna happen is that you're gonna fucking quit because people that don't get results or don't get anything, any, any kind of changes, they end up quitting. But the only problem is that you don't know what you're doing. I was doing that for a lot of years. And the thing about it is that you have to be honest with yourself. You know, when you don't know what you're doing, you have to hire a coach that's going to facilitate that for you. I'm going to keep pushing that message because that's what helped me. That was a life changer for me. I was one of the biggest persons with the biggest ego that I thought I was going to pull it off. I thought that, you know, I knew what I was talking about, that I knew that I was going to fucking smash my goals. And every year I fell short. Like I said it before, I was always talking a good one that I was going to get a six pack by the end of summer. And it never happened at 40 years old. Like I said, you know, I end up getting what the results that I wanted. Why? Because I had to hire a coach. Why? Because I was already done, tapped out, uh, running by my ego that was getting me nowhere. Like I said, this is 2022. That fucking pridefulness, the ego that you carry, that a lot of us carry, it's going to take you nowhere because, you know, the thing about it is that there's more to it than just going to the gym. There's more to it than just eating chicken and rice where a lot of people, once I give them the list of foods, they're like, fuck, girl, I eat everything on your list. And I'm like, okay, what's the breakdown, big dog? You know, how much of, uh, how much protein, how much carbs, how much fat do you eat? And they're like, oh shit, I don't know. I go, exactly. You don't know. Just because you're eating a healthy meal doesn't mean that that's going to get you where you want to be. So you got to be honest with yourself and, uh, know that you don't know what you're doing. Are you gonna spend the rest of your life guessing and trying to get a result that you don't know how to go about? Then you know what? You're gonna learn it the hard way, like I did at four years old. I, I should have fucking snapped out of it at fucking 15, 20, you know, so 20 years old, but I didn't. You know, and a lot of us are, whole, a lot of you guys are in the same boat, just like I am, but you guys are in denial. I see it all the time. I see you guys working out. I see you guys posting videos, uh, uh, doing exercises, running the fucking mountain, fucking, and, and then eating like fucking crap later. Then again, another problem is that they're not even working out towards, uh, you know, building muscle. You're going out there doing uh, excessive cardio. You're doing too much uh, weight that you cannot even handle. That's not how you build muscle. And you're doing bad form, which you're asking for an injury. That's another problem. A lot of times that was uh, the setback that I used to have. When I used to go fucking hard, I wasn't warmed up enough and I used to hurt myself. Then you end up fucking falling off for two, three months. Then here we go again. And then you think that you should uh, be further than, than where you were before. And then you end up hurting yourself again. You don't, you always, always forget that that it's not fucking bad to be a beginner again. That's where everybody fucks up. Everybody wants to look like a 10 year pro when they haven't even put 10 years uh, in. So how the fuck is that? A lot of people just have to be honest with themselves and they gotta realize that they ha there ain't it and they have to put in the work to become it. So always check that, let's fucking run it.